everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm just gonna try and i'm light uh the canterings and the highlights from wet and wild which is a new product in their website so i had noticed i had tried l'oreal cushion foundations last year and it gave me like i thought it wasn't that much of coverage like it was really light coverage it was that was not that full coverage which i want so this cushion products as i test to today tends to be for natural looking glow contour and stuff like that so the highlights that i'm wearing in my face right now looks completely natural and the contour as well looks completely natural so if you want something that well i love things i like i love to look fake because when i use makeup i'm trying to look different you know i don't try i'm not trying to look like me so i really don't like natural stuff i like it more like uh full coverage foundations and because i want to look completely different but in this video i'm gonna try this um in my face this one is cafe o slate and this one is the contouring that i'm wearing in my cheeks or in the halos of my cheeks today plus i put a blush and came back here to do the intro this one is wet and wild mega cushion highlight illuminator for your face and this one is the most natural illuminator that you can ever find so it looks like this with the girl and you open this it has the applicator you open this and it has this beautiful pinky color when i thought this was pink but i think this product over here i don't know how it is the sponge i saw the product so i think it doesn't have enough products to my opinion so this is something that it doesn't have enough product the color that i have in my face from the highlighter is not really pink highlighter it's more more like pearly scent pearl looking that's why it is called who's that pearl but it's like this and it slightly give you a better color and when you apply it's like this and it give you a really settled down i had to apply like three times with the sponges to get this highlights that you see right now because i love to glow and it still give me a set of them highlighter so that's something that you have to think about when trying this cushion products like this um they pretty nice looking like i never tried cushion things in a sponge like with a lot of products before but um i don't know if they take out the product they don't give enough um it feels nice when you put it in your fingers but the color is always really really light um this one i swatched more it looks better but i bet i had to put more of this in my hand to get more pigmentation the wet and wild mega cushion contour product is this cafe o slate and again it has the applicator you open this and it has this chocolate brownie looking product over here in the sponge uh, this one looks like it has more than the illuminator and but the contouring yeah the contouring is you can see it but i'm my said this one's more for a natural looking contour natural looking contour and natural highlight and natural light highlights um products um you should get you should try this one this one's from wet and wild mega cushion contours and highlighting products um so far they look like this they absolutely have as well um i must said um this caresser and concealer little stuff like this but i don't use caresser and concealers and if i use a corrector or something like that i just wear something that's like skin color i don't wear nothing that is peach purple or yellow or green so i didn't try i didn't buy those because i wanted to try it out from the same try on something from the same light but something that I, wa I was really gonna use i always use my contour what happening here i always use my contour i cannot live without my contour in my face so that's something that i always do i always have to shine my face 
illuminate my face so the features that are more beautiful in my face extend out a bit so I always highlighting when I go out so highlighters and contour products is something that I use pretty much so that's why I bought this one and did a review about this contour and highlight stuff so um, the packaging is pretty catchy when I did my order online I was like I had to try this product um something that it says mega cushion or something that says like products in a sponge is something new but at the same time i always get this unpointed because it's not like what i used to use for cancer what i used to um use for highlights it's not the same so there are new products so they have like this comes and pros on the products probably you have something that is good or bad but i don't know i always try to try i always like to try new products and i tried this um on camera for you today so i hope you enjoy um this is my honest opinion you're always welcome to see all the videos on my youtube um girls have different opinions about these products but yes this is my opinion about this product thank you so much for watching press thumbs up leave your lovely comments and please subscribe and i will see you in the next video keep watching so my face is totally incomplete i did my eyes and lips and stuff but i'm gonna try it out this i didn't put no contour or nothing like that so let me just try it out this one while mega cushion since i told you i was gonna do um first impression and slash review and stuff like that on camera so that's what i'm gonna do since i never tried before it still has the sponge here it's a black sponge and still you opened it like the other one and here's the product like a sponge with brown color i don't know if you can see i don't think this one would be nice like uh to do a contour let me just try it on with this little sponge that it provides you and put it in my face cuz last time I tried out the foundation I didn't like it so yes I see some contouring in here like I think this could be a nice alternative if you want a really natural contour if you know what I mean so this little cushion products give you like a really light weight stuff in your face so that's the contour but i still need something to blend so i'm just gonna use this blender that i already opened from the other time i was testing out those little contouring products so this one mm, once you blend it blends pretty easily but it disappears i don't know let me try with some more products let me try with the sponge and put some more products you guys this little foundation not foundation this little cushion stuff because i tried the foundation before gave me a little bit of problems when applying it so i'm just gonna apply this with this little sponge and just blend it just a little bit so it doesn't disappear completely just doing like little dabs in my face like this so even when you do little dabs it doesn't disappear completely i bet with a brush it's gonna be even more um easier but i see my contour it doesn't mean that i didn't see my contour maybe putting the blush and some highlights it's gonna be perfect so now i'm just gonna try it on the highlights this one is a nice who's that pearl is the name so let me just try this on it looks like this in my face so i just open this like this brings the black sponge again and i just gonna open it like this and it's 
it is it looks like it is a nice pinky highlights so let me just apply it with this clean this little applicator in my face OMG I love this one more than the contouring products I'm telling you and the contouring products um when you blend it with a sponge it blends pretty nicely so just dry it with the sponge if you don't get any pigmentation the first time this since highlight it is more <clears throat> lightweight oh my god and it give you this pearl kind of looking to your face so the name it is amazing well the name the name that what i want oh yes now it's nice the name that they give to this it is who's that pearl and it really give you a pearlescent or pearl light to your face it is amazing look how cute this is i don't know if you can catch that but it's really cute and amazing like this thing i loving it i loving it so i don't know if you can catch but it looks like a li this little pearl in your face so this thing over here is really cute like it's this pinky colorful stuff yeah it's pinky light color and the pearlescent look it is amazing plus if you give you a really natural look to your face like you know with some other highlights you don't get that natural looking this one over here from wet and wild cautioned little highlights give you a natural look to your face as well as the cantering it's pretty natural powders don't tend to look that natural but if you wear something that's green it would look pretty much natural i'm pretty loving these two colors over here they're pretty nice and this one's chocolate looking for doing your contour absolutely i see my contour in here and um this thing over here which is a pinky blush to do your highlights